On today's show, we're going to install the Pets Fang blower system onto our CR-10S. Stick around. Hey, welcome to the show. My name is Richard Cleveland. I'm your host here, and you are watching The First Layer. This is a show that explores the world of 3D printing. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get notified every time we do a brand new episode just like this one today. We've got a lot to jump into today, so let's get started. Now, the first thing that uh, we're going to do is explain to you what we're doing. Um, the stock cooler on the CR-10, although it works pretty well, is not really adequate for everything that we do. So in order to get a better airflow onto our parts, we are going today to use the Pets Fang. And that's what this little guy is. I'm just gonna switch cameras here, there we go. So this is the Pets Fang blower system. Now this is all printed in ABS. We printed it on our Wanhao Duplicator i6, or our Wanhao Duplicator 6. It um, is all done, like I said, in ABS. We've done the matching part, which this is the part we want to start with. We've got a blower fan, a variety of screws and nuts and washers, and let's get started putting together. Now, assembling this is actually quite easy. Um, we want to start with this piece first. We are going to have to splice into some wires for our fan today, but we want to start with the fan mount. We are going to utilize the stock fan that is in here. First and foremost, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we've got our screws in the right places. So on the pet's fang, um, the, the holder here, we'll go back to our close-up camera. You can see that we've got some notches here. And these notches are for you to put in screws. We've got some on the top and we've got some on the bottom. Um, and there's only one way that this can go on. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and put all of the screws in that we are going to need for this little guy, which we will, or nuts, pardon me. We'll just toss that one in there and make it seat all the way down. You definitely want it to seat all the way down. If you've got something in there, you'll know it. If you can't get it all the way in, you might want to use a pair of pliers, and we just happen to have a set right over here. All right, so take your needle nose pliers and just help that down in there. Give it, there we go. Now we're all the way down. I'm just gonna straighten that one up. Line them up with the holes so that you don't push them through too far. And now we are all lined up. We've got those uh, in there. And all those are for is to help us when we are going to put in our screws a little bit later on. So right now, let's go ahead and go over to the printer. We're gonna shut it down and we are going to pull off this front housing. All right, so moving ahead, we are going to need to grab some Allen keys or, or Allen wrenches. We have a selection of them here. And all we're gonna do is start by taking off the existing screws that are holding on the front cover. What we wanna do in this case is we're gonna reutilize some of the screws um, that are in here. And then we are going to actually add a couple. Now this should slip directly over this unit just like so. All right, so we've got the Pets Fang loaded in. We're gonna put in a larger screw here what you want to watch for when you're doing this is making sure that these wires are on the outside so that it sits properly on the unit. So we're not going to totally tighten that one down yet. We are going to move that one a little bit and we're going to take the existing screw that we had from before and we're going to reuse that one just in this little channel right here. So there we go. Now we can tighten that up. And that is now set in place. So, 
The one other thing that we want to do now is we want to take the fan, this part cooling fan right here, and take that out and attach it to here. We're just going to grab our, our tool. We'll take this out. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is blowing in the right direction. Now, when we install a blower fan, we always know, we don't really know exactly which way this goes in, but based on the way it was installed in the machine, we know that the decal that is on here will go inwards towards the cooler. And now we'll just take these screws and we'll reuse them and we'll put them back in. And one thing you want to be sure of is not to, to strip the threads that you're cutting into the ABS plastic. You don't want to over tighten these because what will happen is you'll strip it out and then you'll have to use a brass insert to hold this fan in place. Now I want to reuse these as much as possible right now, so I am going to uh, use as much, reuse as much hardware as I can without changing anything. Where we do have to make a change is going to be onto this part of the pet's fang because we are going to have to put a blower fan in there. And now we're going to put on the pet's fang. And the pet's fang just kind of slides over. And then we'll, we'll make the adjustment that we need to make. And then we'll add the other fan. All right, so now that you've got this assembled, assembled, you want to just lift it up enough so that it is clearing the nozzle. And we are in a good spot right there. So there are instructions for this online. Um, and I would suggest anybody go and have a look at those instructions. Now, once you have this adjusted to where you want it, just go ahead and tighten up your Allen screws. You want to make sure that there's enough clearance there that when the air blows down and through it, that it's actually getting to the actual nozzle and you're not cooling off the block. So now we're going to take this fan Let's go back where you guys can see this. We're going to take this fan, which is the part cooling fan, and we're just going to snip it off here. We're going to add the connector, and then we are going to add the proper fan. We'll be right back. So when we are looking at these wires, which is our negative, which is our positive, without opening the box, we can't really tell. But there is some great information online to tell you which is which. But I'm going to make it easy for you. The yellow wire is your positive wire and the blue wire is your negative wire. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clip this off. We're gonna do the same thing to our fan so we, we can make a little connector there. We don't need a lot. There we go, now we've got them both clipped off. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take these wires, put a connector on the other side of them and then we will be right back. So now if you've done everything correctly, your fan should come on. That fan's working. Let's start up the fan for the part cooling and see what we can come up with. So if we've done everything correctly, we should be able to, with no problem at all, go ahead and start a print. So that's what we're going to do. We've started it up on the XYZ. We are going to watch that print a little bit and see how it all comes out.
Okay, so there you have it. All printed up is our 60 by 60. I've got a collection of these things now. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. But uh, I'm really happy with the way that that came out. The print is beautiful. Um, all of the sides are nice. All of the sides are, are gorgeous on this. There's no real flaws. It's nice and smooth. Even though it was done at point two, yes, you can still feel the layer lines. You can probably hear them there as well. Um, but at point two, this is, I can't complain about this at all. The top is really nice and filled in. I did do 15% uh, infill on this, which is a little higher than I normally do. But the overhangs came out really nice where the V uh, goes in there, the X as well. Um, any little bridging that it had, it did a really nice job on. So I'm really happy with the way that that came out. Now the Petsfang, I know I've said a million times, don't upgrade your 3D printer. But there will come a time, once you've gotten to know your 3D printer, that you're going to want to make upgrades. Because you'll see for yourself exactly what the upgrades are that you think you may need. You may need better cooling. Petsfang is a great option for that. Um, you may want a new extruder. Uh, the Bontech is a great extruder for, for that as well. You may want to print other materials such as flexibles, which we're going to be trying very soon with the Bontech extruder on here. Um, you may want to change your Bowden tube. You may want to change your hot end like we did with the uh, Micro Swiss all metal hot end here for the CR10. Now, we've also added a couple things. You can see that little orange box down in the corner. That little orange box is a Raspberry Pi hooked up to Octoprint, or not Octoprint, I'm sorry, Astroprint. And we are going to talk more about that in a future episode. Coming up on the next episode, we're going to install the BL Touch. And we'll show you exactly how auto bed leveling works on this. Uh, and we'll show you everything for hooking it up inside the control box, how to hook it up with the Pets Fang. It's very, very simple. Not a lot of uh, coding to do, so we'll get to that next time. So before we get out of here, let's just thank our staff. Those guys do a fantastic job coming in and helping out each and every week. I want to thank Spool 3D, because without Spool 3D, we wouldn't have access to these parts as quickly as we do. So thank you to those fine folks over there, as well as for the studio space that we have here uh, at their retail location in Calgary, Alberta. So remember, if you're looking for parts, you're looking for printers, or you're looking for filaments, check out spool3d.ca. They've got everything that you need. And print it right, print it with Spool 3D. Now, if you're new here and you've enjoyed what we did today on this episode, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell. Share this video with all of your friends. Let them know that we are here to help you with your 3D printing problems. So until next time, my friends, remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print.